What is going on, everybody? My name is Jada Black here. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Lolo Jones and the reason, the real reason, why no guy is wanting to date her, wanting to commit to her, wanting to marry her. Okay, now if you're unfamiliar with this particular video series, make sure you go and check out the latest video that I did in regards to Ashanti. That link will be in the description box and also in the comment section as well pinned to the top. Now, for those of you who may be new, uh, I produce my videos on the red pilling of lamestream society or mainstream society. That is the purpose of my content. And speaking on Lolo Jones, I think she's a representative of what has happened to a lot of women these days when it comes to dating. Now, I want people to understand something, all right, especially when it comes to dating. You know, I speak on things from a red pill, uh, black male or male perspective. Uh, if you don't know what the red pill is, I'll, I'll give you a brief synopsis. It's basically the waking up, the awakening of a person, particularly us as men. It's a, a reference of the matrix, if you have not seen it. Uh, and I think that in the content I have done, I want to bring forth red pill, the red pill mindset. I'll probably do a longer video on it, but you know, looking at society as far as dating and women is concerned and how there's such a bad like crop of people together in one dating market trying to reach each other. Lolo Jones to me, she is the epitome of this video series I'm doing, which actually started off as just a one off a particular video topic. But I think this could, uh, this could, you know, uh, be about a lot of different particular individuals. And Lolo Jones to me is somebody who has been struggling dating, according to her, for a long time now. She's 37 years old. Okay. She is a hurdler, bobsledder, uh, and she is a virgin. She has not gotten with any guy, has not had most well, gotten. I mean, she's dated, but she has not had any relations with any guy ever. And she's holding out in, in what she's saying, you know, God to bring her that guy that she's looking for. Now, for those of you who may be new to the content, I do my videos my way from my perspective. I think a lot of females need to hear my perspective because they're getting a milk toast perspective, a pandering perspective from a lot of people. I speak real truth. Just look at a lot of the people who be, uh, who are supportive of the channel and things that I do. They understand where I'm coming from. I think Lolo Jones to me, is somebody who's looking for the impossible. And this to me reminds me a lot of Angela Simmons. You know, Angela Simmons for a while hadn't been with anybody. She was waiting for that right guy, but look who she ended up getting with, a guy who had a criminal record. Now, some unfortunate things unfolded after that, but that's the person she decided to get with, you know? You know, she was engaged to be married to this particular person. You know, she was considered a good girl, come from a good family, but, you know, didn't exactly meet the guy. Maybe that was the guy she was looking for, but that's just the way things can go. And I think that Lolo, uh, she's again, looking for the impossible, but that's what's happening nowadays. You have a lot of women looking for the impossible. They're looking for Mr. Perfect and he's not out there. He's not. Nobody is perfect. A lot of people, if not all, are very flawed. And I think also, I think Lolo gets a lot of, I wouldn't say attention, but she still gets people's, you know, uh, well, attention um, or time of day because she still is a virgin. She has not you know, been with anybody according to her. Now this is according to her, you know, and I think that she sees power in that. 
power to say no i haven't been with anybody even though i've been in the industry i've been in entertainment i've been on dancing with the stars i've been on big brother celebrity you know i've traveled all over the world i've been in a part of the olympics she even uh dissed blake griffin she literally uh, responded to somebody who said that she had a thing for blake by calling him not only a bad date but a bad kisser you know, just completely trashed this guy. This is a guy who publicly never made any type of remarks towards her, but she felt the need to disrespect this guy like that, you know? And these, and, and again, she wonders why she isn't meeting quality guys. You know, it's, I will know what I think it is. I think it was the fact that maybe she was thinking about, you know, giving up the whole being a virgin thing at that particular moment but then she realized blake was just you know just in it for blake and that's when she stepped back and felt some type of way because if the situation didn't just work if the situation was like okay uh the date didn't go quite as planned but we still cool with each other that was that seemed very bitter but she's known to be that way she's known to be bitter she's you know she's known to have an ego she even had you know two ex uh, Olympic teammates speak out against her, you know, and, and on a, on a, so, uh, I, I truly think that, you know, she puts out an image of herself, but that may not be who she is because people are attracted to energy. And if you're putting off an energy that makes people either not respect you, make people not want to be around you, you're going to find yourself very lonely. Now, I also will say this, you know, she comes off as being very awkward, being a bit on the on the uh, geeky side or weird side. But she does have a bit of weirdness to her. But she, you know, she is biracial. And I think she grew up in a maybe confusing situation um, with because uh, this is now again, this is according to biracial. This ain't me just you know, saying stuff just to be saying it, but they've even talked about, you know, growing up in a situation that is confusing, you know, different family members of different racial groups, not accepting them, you know, that stuff goes on, you know, and you could just tell by her personality, she's awkward. She even admitted when she was on big brother celebrity that she has tried to date, you know, uh, male celebrities and it never worked out. You know, worked out. Um, I can believe that, you know, I believe that wholeheartedly. You know, she was in a comment section, you know, of uh, Jimmy Butler's post being flirtatious, saying that she's willing to give up her chastity to be with him. And he, you know, responded back in a flirty manner. Now, this is Jimmy Butler we're talking. I'm not saying Jimmy's a bad guy, but, you know, still put bait out there. I think what it is is that. You know, these guys, especially if they're in the entertainment industry, they're not, they're not, they have no interest in waiting. You know, if they are, they, they're going to want an open relationship. And she's probably not willing to do that. You know, these guys can have a lot of different women. They're, they're not going to wait on you, Lolo. I mean, you're 37. Now, again, if you were like 23, 24, maybe. But they see you as, you know, basically approaching the wall. Now, I still think that Lolo has her attractiveness. I just think that she's just awkward. I think she's a very awkward person. And I think that because of her awkwardness, it is, it's, it's difficult for guys to say, hey, she looks good on Instagram. But then when you be around her, you you know, it, it just, it's almost like you're dealing with two different people, you know? And I think that, you know, Lolo's putting herself in a situation where maybe she will meet the guy she wants. Uh, or she's going to get with a guy who, you know, she's going to fall for hard and she's going to give up, you know, her V card. And then, you know, it, then the guy's going to end up leaving. She's, she's in the, she's going to be in that particular predicament. And I think that's why, you know, um, I think that's why she has been single for so not well single for so long but she hasn't been in any serious relationships because i think that she realizes that she's going to end up being with somebody that that just wants to, to be have that have her v card but again 
This is why you have to be able to choose the right type of guys. And I say this to men all the time. You have to choose the right women. You can't sit here and point the finger and complain about the women that you're dealing with. If you're choosing the wrong women over and over and over, you have to individually do better. You can't sit there and blame, you know, these particular females. Why? Because, you know, your relationships don't always work out because you choose women who don't respect you, who use you. You have to be able to see the signs. You have to be able to learn from your mistakes. And a lot of those guys don't listen. Listen, we're all flawed people. I know that Lolo. You know, she feels insecure about herself in certain ways. That's why those relationships don't work out is because she always thinks somebody's trying to use her. But when you're putting yourself on a pedestal, you know, there are going to be people who are going to seek to they, they, they're going to seek to get with you just off, you know, just to be able to, you know, brag about it. there are those guys out there. That's why. What she needs to do is emphasize getting a guy who actually wants to be with her first and then seeing where it goes. But I think she ends up either losing interest or guys end up losing interest in her and she, you know, and, and ends it quick. You know what I'm saying? I think is she is just she epitomizes what dating is in 2019. She does. Because there's a lot of women like her. They're not necessarily, you know, whole, you know, uh, um, untainted so to speak uh I, I think that they just they wallow in the dating market on and off trying to find the perfect guy and they're ne never able to find it because society lies to them that is the point of me making these videos because society lies to these women and tell them everything is everybody else's fault they never tell these women to look themselves in the mirror and try to fix who they are and what they have become it just tells them that they're perfect nothing's wrong with them it's everybody else's fault and that is not true if you want real change in society you have to push that red pill mindset no matter how angry people get no matter how bitter they get i've seen some of the comments on these particular type of videos there are females that are angry they're angry because they've never had nobody speak to them like this in a real manner because I have nothing to gain to lie to you nothing I have more to gain by trying to help people become better people and avoid the mistakes that I have made and others have made that is the point of doing these particular videos is to show that yes you can change your circumstance yes you can become a better human being yes you can meet the person of your dreams whoever they are 